Yeah, welcome to the Achievers Drive Quarterly Business Seminar. We're very grateful to have you here this evening. And to begin our program, we'd want to call Miss Patience Akosia Bomati to give us the opening prayer. Okay, thank you very much, Deladem, for this opportunity. Please let us pray. Our Lord and Master Jesus, we thank you this evening for this opportunity to meet once again. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor, all the adoration. We pray committing our seminar into your hands. We ask the Lord, oh God, you come and take absolute control. We pray that whatever will be thought here, whatever impartation that will be given to us education-wise, we ask the Lord, oh God, it will not depart from us, but we'll be able to implement it when we go out in our various businesses, in our daily lives. That at the end of the day, we say glory, honor, and adoration be unto your name. This and many more we ask through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, patience. So at this point, I'd like to invite Dr. Charles K. from Benjamin to give us the welcome address. Yeah, many thanks, Deladem, for the excellent start of the program. So hello, everyone, and welcome to Achievers Tribe. Achievers Tribe is a non-profit organization committed to equipping people to maximize their potential. Um, our goal, you know, is to raise men and women fully equipped to address the needs of our nation and beyond. And to achieve this goal, we often uh, put together training events targeting specific populations. I'm sure a lot of us here um, would have in, attended one of our events or the other, and we do specific events targeting specific populations. Uh, today, we are doing uh, one of the events we call the quarterly online seminars, where we bring an established person to come and speak to an online audience. Um, without wasting much time, I'll proceed to introduce the event speaker. I believe, <laughs> sorry, that in life, your classmates are not necessarily your co-equals in life. And I'm here to introduce one of such persons. Um, I consider him as one of the most prominent members of um, our, our class and um, one of the illustrious sons of our great nation, Ghana. We're in the same class from upper primary school and junior high school many, many years ago. Some of you were not born by then. I'm not too sure whether the lot of them was even born by then, but we did many great things together. Um, most of them were very good things. At high school, we, we got separated. I've been senior high school. Um, Felix went to Presby Boys, the undisputed National Science and Maths champions. And I went to the greatest college on our continent, which is um, at the Saddle College. Um, uh, but it happened that we, we met again at Ghana's premier university, that is the University of Ghana, where we shared the same room for two years or so. Um, later, I came to the Kolebu campus and Felix um, continued at Legon. Um, I should say it's, it's one of the people I respect at many levels. He's a person of integrity, a person of character, a person of uh, high professional standards. His work ethics is incredible. I can go on and on and on, but let me just do a brief introduction of um, Felix. Uh, Mr. Felix Oxenbrighton is pre presently serving with the permanent mission of Ghana to the United Nations, New York, mm -hmm. as the minister counselor and political coordinator, focusing mainly on Ghana's mm -hmm. tenure as a non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council for the period of 2022, mm -hmm. January to December 2023. Proud to move into the New York mission, he served as deputy um, a director office of the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration from September 2020 to October 2021. Felix uh, joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration in 2009 and has since served in several capacities at the headquarters, including 
being the assistant director at the multilateral um, relations um, Asia and Pacific at the passport office and at the estate bureau. Between 2014 and 2015, he worked as an assistant director at the cabinet secretariat office of the president. I'm sure if, if you have been listening to me, you now understand why I say someone can be your classmate, but the person is not your life mate or your co-equal. As a diplomat for 10 years, Felix was also between 2015 and 2020 posted to the Ghana embassy in the kingdom of Belgium, where he served in many roles, including um, as first secretary, Ghana-Belgium relations, the head of chancery, the, cha the chancellor, Ghana European Union relations, and later as a minister councillor, um, responsible for Ghana's relations with the Organization of African, Caribbean, and Pacific States. We can go on and on and on, but I would like to conclude by saying that Felix is a product of the University of Ghana, Legon, where he read his Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology and Philosophy from 2001 to 2005. In 2010, he returned to the same University of Ghana to read a, a Master of Arts degree in International Relations at Legon Center for international affairs and diplomacy. He also has undertaken several courses in diplomatic practice, notably at the Egmont Royal Institute from, sorry, Egmont Royal Institute for International Relations in Brussels, Belgium, and the Renmin University of China, Beijing. Felix has a great passion to empower young people to be financially independent. As a consequence, he has made several presentations at several seminars and conferences on many, many topics. If we have the opportunity to host him again, we'll be very grateful if he does uh, one of his favorite presentations, which is the employment hat trick. He is involved in philanthropic work and together with many volunteers have dedicated um, a lot of his time, energy, financial resources to promoting zero hunger and food security through food banking in Ghana. He has established the Food Bank um, Philanthropy Project, which some of us um, have mm -hmm. had the opportunity to witness the impact of such an intervention. Felix is married to Benedicta, a banker and chartered accountant. Um, they are blessed with two daughters, Anna Inshura and Asida. So audience, um, we have an uncommon opportunity to hear from, as I said, one of the illustrious sons of our nation. So Mr. Felix Watson, please, over to you. And also to thank uh, Charles, um, my dear friend, uh, Dr. Charles Hefron Benjamin, uh, for the very kind uh, uh, and generous introduction uh, that he has given uh, concerning uh, a journey that uh, I think we we have been on it uh, together. Uh, so, friends, uh, uh, I would uh, go straight to the presentation as we have it. Uh, I'm, I will try to share the slides that I have prepared, and then we will go into uh, a few issues that I think that... Uh, uh, we should know or we should be acquainted with uh, as, as we look at the uh, important topics of uh, investment and uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, so just give me a minute uh, whilst I pull this out and then uh, share my screen with, with you. What I would be speaking to uh, uh, a few areas that I think uh, are important. Uh, we'll first look at the the contest uh, as as we have it. Uh, what is currently happening on the global stage? Uh, I'll zero in onto the uh, the continent, Thanks. which that is where we are, uh, our continent of Africa. And then the Ghanaian context, uh, in terms of the key issue that key issues that are impacting um, investment uh, and entrepreneurship. Uh, 
with, with my role as a diplomat, I interface on a regular basis uh, with uh, uh, people who are interested to invest in Ghana and uh, across our continent. And a number of things keep coming up. Uh, some of the issues uh, could be within our space uh, to deal with others are are beyond us, uh, but we need to understand these uh, issues uh, better so that we can uh, address them or uh, we can uh, maneuver or navigate our way around them so that uh, the uh, shared aspirations that we have in terms of uh, investment or uh, entrepreneurship could be, uh, could be uh, attained. So let me just uh, forward this. Uh, yeah. And then we could get uh, going. Uh, but I get a sense that I'm speaking to uh, uh, individuals who uh, perhaps may be in the field of, uh, uh, of business or uh, maybe you are a retail investor, a small investor, you have some uh, interest on the stock market or in uh, in some of the uh, uh, basket of opportunity in terms of investments that we have uh, uh, in Ghana or even in uh, uh, other African, African uh, uh, countries. Uh, it's better or it's, it's give a sense of... Uh, of understanding the the audience we are speaking to, so that uh, we could uh, uh, provide information that fits uh, into the uh, that fits into their purpose, if I can put it uh, that way. So uh, I think I have this in now, and uh, I would put it up here so that we can get uh, going. Okay, let me get this. Okay, so uh, whilst we wait uh, for me to put this up, I would want to first set the scene, uh, which is uh, to say that uh, investment and entrepreneurship are important uh, areas that is of interest to many of us. Uh, and uh, many of us have uh, been following that because of the prospect that it offers, uh, it offers at, uh, it has at, it's at the heart of uh, genuine aspirations uh, for whether we are looking at economic growth, we are looking at sustainable development, or we are even looking at uh, 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 creating wealth. And that is the activity that receives uh, a lot of attention uh, uh, from us. And, and for me, this seminar couldn't have been held at a at any uh, better time than now, as whilst we are in the, the last quarter of the year, and whilst people are getting uh, themselves uh, prepared for the year ahead ahead of us. Uh, but I, I think you would all agree uh, with, me, with me that uh, we have a lot of things uh, happening uh, around us that continue to impact on the um, and the business environment, uh, even in Ghana and uh, across across the world, and we'll be going we'll be going through some of these in a short while. Whilst I prepare to put this up, uh, okay, now I have it, so we can get going now.
Okay. So let me share it now. Okay, do I have this? I think I have some difficulty sharing this. Uh... Hello, okay. Mr. Martin. Okay, I have it uh, here. Okay, great. I've tried to share, can you see? Yes, very, yeah, it's clear, thanks. Uh, please, are you able to see? Yes, please. Okay, so uh, let me now maybe perhaps uh, go uh, through this. Okay, so as I did start uh, by uh, with a few comments on what is happening uh, around us, uh, the are many things happening um, at the global, at the continental, and at the national level that impact on how uh, we could uh, effectively uh, carry out uh, uh, investment or entrepreneurship. And I want to put this at the global, at the continental, and at the national uh, uh, level. Now, the things happening, we are all not uh, insulated. Uh, so we'll be looking beyond the, the, the various contests. We'll also look at how we could get past these uh, uh, issues happening, uh, identify opportunities, uh, mitigate their risks, and then I will provide some basic uh, admonishment uh, that as an, uh, as an investor or entrepreneur, you can uh, 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 be guided, be guided by. Uh, the, the the first point is to indicate that uh, what I will be providing is not an investment advice. Uh, so don't take uh, decisions based on what uh, I would be uh, providing. These are just guides. These are just to uh, uh, provoke your. Or analysis of what is happening to be able uh, to make informed uh, uh, decisions. Uh, but if you really want to make an investment decision, then you need to speak to the the the, the professionals in in the in the industry. Uh, the other point is that um, I think we are doing this uh, seminar through uh, the platform or on the platform of Zoom. And uh, many of us will recall that uh, we had to move our activities onto uh, a virtual engagement because of the COVID pandemic uh, that uh, uh, came around uh, uh, mainly in the year 2020. Uh, uh, but, uh, but so that, that should tell you that uh, when development happened, we adjust to be able to uh, deal with the situation uh, at hand. Uh, the, the first point I would want us to look at in the context of what is happening at the global level is the current uh, development in the digital sector, uh, particularly the issue of artificial intelligence. Uh, that issue cannot be discounted any longer uh, because of the impact uh, not only on, 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 on jobs, uh, yes, it's making work less tedious, it's making work uh, easy, but it's also a threat to, to, to sustainable jobs. Uh, and what is important is to look at how we could seize the promise of artificial intelligence. 
uh, at the global level, a lot is happening in terms of uh, how we could uh, deal with the rich and make sure that uh, artificial intelligence is safe uh, uh, to use. Um, just uh, at the beginning of this month, uh, the government uh, of UK uh, in the United Kingdom held a global AI uh, safety summit uh, to look at how uh, nations, countries, professionals, um, and, uh, and government could regulate artificial intelligence to make sure that their development do not uh, uh, hurt uh, humanity. Uh, so that is one major uh, uh, um, issue uh, that is happening at, uh, uh, at the global level that uh, we need to take into account uh, because it has impact, uh, impact on jobs uh, and impact on the way things uh, would be done uh, going, uh, going forward. Uh, even here at New York, uh, I think it was in May, uh, no, I think it was in uh, in in July that uh, the Security Council held its first ever uh, briefing on the impact of uh, artificial intelligence on uh, international peace uh, and security. I think the most important issue for us to highlight here is how we could govern the use of emerging technologies or new technologies uh, to ensure that they can accelerate. At the capacity of businesses to deliver sustainable value to uh, investors. Um, the other item that is of uh, critical uh, importance that should also get our attention is that the concept of money is changing, as we know. Uh, now there's talk of uh, digital currencies. Uh, some countries already have uh, adopted uh, Bitcoin as a, as a legal tender. Uh, countries in Latin and uh, Latin America and Southeast Asia. Uh, I think um, El Salvador uh, uh, was the first country to adopt um, Bitcoin as a as a legal tender for for trading. Uh, it's an issue that is coming up. Uh, people now have digital currencies. Uh, I would not be surprised. Many of you have because it's now uh, traded across and uh, people. Are acquiring it. So all these things are impacting on um, investment and entrepreneurship uh, uh, as, as we would see. Then the future of work um, has changed dramatically. Uh, work as we know, we know it um, is changing. Now we have high people can work in hybrid uh, 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 forms uh, and the 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 job market itself is unpredictable. Uh, if you take the uh, major tech companies, uh, uh, this year alone, uh, the estimate that, uh, that uh, they, they may, I mean, last 2022 into 2023, uh, they may have laid off over 200,000 uh, workers alone in, in the tech uh, sector. And, uh, generative artificial intelligence or artificial intelligence, as I mentioned before, is taking the place uh, of many of many people. It means that it has impact on, on jobs uh, uh, as we would, uh, we, we know it. Um, a, a few more issues that are happening on the global stage that uh, we cannot ignore uh, because it has direct impact on the um, environment within which businesses have to operate and uh, the environment within which as uh, retail investors or as uh, institutional investors or even as households uh, or communities we have to uh, operate. Um, and here I'm referring to threats to international peace and security. Uh, currently we have the ongoing, um, currently the war between Israel and Gaza Israel and Hamas in Gaza has uh, serious implications um, uh, 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 in terms of the global economic uh, outlook. Uh, the, we are at a stage where 
uh, if we are not careful, there could be some uh, potential regional uh, spillover because uh, of the exchanges, uh, uh, military uh, hostilities between the, the Israeli uh, military and uh, Hezbollah in, in Lebanon. Uh, we can also speak to uh, the Russian-Ukraine war that started in 2022, uh, and the impact of that war and how it fed into the cost of living uh, crisis globally, uh, particularly the cost of energy. Uh, and as we know, or, or uh, as many of you would know, Ukraine and then Russia are the food baskets of the world uh, because uh, they produce a lot of grain. Russia itself supplies um, uh, a lot of the, uh, the world's fertilizer fertilizer uh, needs or requirement. Uh, so this also, uh, it's something that is impacting, uh, impacting us in, 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 uh, uh, in diverse, in diverse ways. Uh, we can also speak to a uh, major uh, power uh, rivalry. Um, and here I want to cite uh, uh, the the relations between the US and China uh, as to whether it is uh, 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 confrontational or, or is co cooperation, uh, because what happens uh, in terms of uh, uh, these two countries has impacts on many uh, of us in terms of countries. Uh, and and, and uh, many of you would know that if you take Africa, the US and China, uh, along with France, are the the major uh, investors on the on the continent. Uh, so, if we have a polarized or fragment uh, fragmented uh, 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 multilateral order, it it has an impact uh, on the uh, the kind of uh, economic outlook that we should we should uh, we should expect. Um, the other important item I would want to, to mention, uh, I would just mention two, and then I could go to the, uh, the African context uh, uh, to give us a sense of also what is happening and how it's, it's shaping the way uh, investment and uh, inter entrepreneurship or businesses have to adapt to the, the changing uh, uh, realities. Uh, I would mention the issue of climate, climate, uh, the climate crisis or climate change, uh, and um, its impact uh, on businesses. Uh, uh, if the there is a, a a disaster arising out of uh, of of climate, it disrupts uh, supply lines for for businesses. Uh, it also impacts the uh, uh, capacity of businesses uh, to be able to to meet their orders, uh, and even uh, it impacts uh, on, on on individuals or on households. Uh, and if individuals and households are impacted, obviously, it also uh, uh, affects uh, businesses. Uh, so now there are huge uh, discussions. Um, uh, about how do we met, mitigate some of the challenges arising out of the dramatic uh, uh, climate uh, climate uh, uh, situations that uh, confront us. And that is also feeding into uh, discussions on how we could transition uh, from uh, fossil fuels, from coal, uh, from, from oil to into uh, renewable energy or clean energy. Uh, and that is the interest now of many uh, investors. Uh, so if, if, if you are a business and you are planning, you have to take into account some of these uh, new realities that uh, confront that confront us. Uh, I would want to uh, maybe perhaps move on to some of the issues uh, on the African context that is uh, also impacting uh, on um, on investment uh, and uh, uh, 
businesses or entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, I think the on the on the continent, uh, we, we still have our challenges with the unconstitutional change of government. Uh, and we could mention what has happened uh, in about five countries uh, in Gabon, as we saw in August. Uh, proud to that, uh, we had uh, we've had government in uh, in Guinea, in Burkina Faso, in 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 Mali, in Niger, and then uh, in, uh, in the Sudan, uh, where we have military government uh, now in place. What it does is that it uh, affects the uh, how investors perceive these uh, countries, particularly the region in which the countries are found. And in our case, in the sub-region of, uh, of West Africa, uh, people consider the political risks because when these things happen, it's, it's impact uh, uh, the way uh, 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 businesses uh, could, could, could thrive and it could undermine some investment in these uh, in these uh, places. Uh, so people talk about democratic recession uh, in the in the countries where government have been have been overthrown or removed from uh, from office. And here I'm referring to democratically elected uh, government. Uh, we also have the issue of escalating debt crisis. Many African countries are in a situation where they are unable to manage their debt. Uh, and as a result of that, uh, various actions have had to be taken, either monetary or physical uh, uh, policies, in order to rein in these these uh, uh, these debt, and that is feeding uh, into the uh, uh, the challenges that uh, some of these countries are, are going through. So, if you would. Uh, um, if you take countries, uh, for instance, if you take Ghana, uh, we've had a situation of uh, uh, increase in the interest rate that is impacting on uh, borrowing rate. If you go to the bank to go uh, to to borrow, uh, you 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 could be expected to pay uh, uh, between thirty five and forty percent because uh, the central bank's uh, uh, prime rate. Uh, it's around uh, about thirty percent, uh, so you, you that also impact on what banks could could lend out, and uh, government are being are trying to be creative so uh, they could meet the expectation of the population. So there is this uh, domestic resource uh, mobilization through uh, taxes uh, and the. Uh, uh, to be able to meet the needs uh, and and uh, what is uh, happening is also creating uh, a situation where uh, we have uh, inflation in the uh, very uh, high high numbers and uh, these are all attempts uh, uh, by uh, monetary authorities to to bring it down and, and and the way they could bring it down is to increase the interest rate uh, so that it would discourage people uh, from borrowing so that uh, they could use that uh, to make uh, uh, purchases. Uh, we could also uh, speak to uh, a very important development that are happening on the continent and which are positive. Now, if you take up, if you want to speak to issues of demograf demographics, the African continent is uh, estimated to have the most youthful population by 2050, uh, simply meaning that uh, by 2050, uh, we would be having majority of a population of about 2.5 billion uh, being young people. Uh, indeed, um, the numbers now uh, are that uh, the median age in Africa is about 19 years. Uh, 19 years uh, as compared with uh, about 38 in the US, 
or even over 40 in the in the European uh, Union. Uh, what uh, that present is that uh, a young population uh, means that it's a vibrant uh, population. They are the ones who would be buying and trading. They will be the ones who would be constituting the middle class. And so businesses can look forward to some uh, good uh, prospects uh, because of uh, the kind of uh, uh, population uh, that we expect to have. It also has its own challenges because then uh, the continent has to uh, be able to provide sustainable jobs. And that is why entrepreneurship is critical uh, because of the, uh, the limitation of, uh, uh, of uh, government jobs to absorb these uh, uh, young people that would be coming onto the job, uh, the job market. Another important development uh, for us on the continent uh, which again is positive, is the uh, the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, uh, which uh, it's one of the major things to happen in terms of uh, uh, the uh, economic prospect for the, the continent, uh, where uh, the uh, expectation of a single market uh, in 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 estimate of about a uh, 16 trillion dollars uh, present to us uh, a lot of opportunities for trade for investment um, and for growth uh, and many people are taking uh, advantage of that and 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 for me businesses have to look beyond the confines of uh, the immediate uh, uh, environment and look beyond uh, other cross-border trade or activities that could tap into the opportunities that after present uh, for um, a continent-wide free trade uh, area, uh, a single un unified uh, market that would benefit the the the, the current uh, present population that Africa has, which is about one point three. Uh, a, a billion because African countries do not trade among uh, this, themselves as they are expected to. Uh, so with this um, agreement in place, which many people have described as a, a, a game changer, uh, it could facilitate uh, trade among uh, African, African uh, uh, countries. Uh, we could also speak to the uh, recent invitation to the uh, African Union to join the uh, G20, that's the, the group uh, uh, of countries, 20 group of countries that focus on uh, uh, economy uh, in, 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 in the world. Uh, now we have um, the AU, uh, the African Union, taking a seat at the table of decision making where issues about taxes, issues about uh, reform of the global financial architecture, and even issues that deals with what uh, credit ratings uh, agencies uh, do uh, uh, in terms of their assessment of African countries. We, we, we could uh, uh, provide a strong voice uh, to change the narrative about, about how Africa uh, is, is as con considered and um, uh, for those of for those who continue to be pessimistic about Africa's uh, uh, future, there are a few things that I think should excite you uh, um, beyond the, the the challenges that we have we have now. Uh, Africa is also built uh, to be the next frontier for uh, for tourism. And we are seeing that uh, many countries are waiving uh, visas to African nationals uh, so that you could travel uh, visa-free to these uh, destinations. Uh, we could mention uh, Gambia, Benin, uh, Seychelles. Uh, recently, Kenya, Rwanda have also announced uh, some, uh, uh, or made provisions for uh, people to, to travel visa free or receive visas on arrival uh, or in a, in in the effort to uh, promote trade uh, 
and and uh, uh, business growth and uh, investment. Uh, between us and uh, South Africa, there's also uh, uh, an announcement of uh, a visa uh, free uh, window uh, for a couple of months. Um, uh, I think it's uh, three months uh, also uh, for businesses to be able to try uh, to travel or for individuals pursuing business uh, interest to be able to travel to these areas without requiring requiring uh, 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 visas. So these are a lot of a lot uh, happening on the on the continent. There are a few more we could touch on, but I will want to move on uh, to the Ghanaian contest so that then uh, after setting the contest or drawing your mind onto the uh, various things that are happening around us, uh, it would put us in the, uh, um, in a place where we could look at how do we uh, get ourselves round uh, because uh, the events happening around us are both are both uh, positive and negative. But how do we leverage uh, all these uh, as we move uh, on or in a in our quest uh, to take advantage of, 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 of these uh, opportunities around us. Uh, in the Ghanaian contest, uh, a few points to, to make here. Um, we, we've all been uh, following or we all heard about the domestic debt exchange program that government had to embark on uh, in order to uh, re uh, constitute its, uh, uh, if I can put it that way, its debt uh, uh, obligations. Uh, when we were discussing the issues under the African contest, I raised the issue of the debt crisis that many African countries uh, are going through. Uh, Ghana was no exception uh, because uh, we also are not insulated from what is happening uh, at the global stage. So. Um, government had to go through the uh, domestic debt exchange uh, program. Uh, we all know or heard about the fallout, but I should believe that now the program has sunk in and uh, people uh, understand why uh, we had to go through that, that phase. Uh, we still have uh, exchange rate uh, fluctuations, uh, which people would uh, uh, easily uh, uh, mention the the CD and the dollar uh, here in terms of the exchange rate uh, disparity uh, between the the the, the CD and its major trading uh, currencies. Uh, so uh, again, um, Ghana has had to subscribe to an IMF uh, program to enable government uh, or authorities deal with some of these. Uh, uh, issues that are challenging the uh, the uh, the economy. Uh, we can also reference uh, the banking sector uh, cleanup um, that was uh, undertaken um, to to deal with the the challenges within the banking sector, where some banks were subsumed, um, others were acquired in order to uh, um, ensure that there's stability in the, in the financial uh, uh, system. And the issue about tariffs uh, uh, in terms of uh, what we pay for electricity and water and, and the, 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 what it does to the ease of uh, 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 doing uh, uh, business. Uh, but there are also a few things that uh, going in favor of Ghana. Uh, Ghana is uh, noted as the most peaceful country in the sub-region uh, in West Africa, and uh, we are number two in Africa. If you take the 54 countries, Ghana is reputed as the second most peaceful country uh, after Mauritius. Um, there's no debate about the stability we have uh, enjoyed since 1992 when we subscribed to the uh, democratic uh, experiment. Uh, 
there are also uh, uh, reforms being undertaken to improve the uh, business environment to enable the private sector uh, take its rightful place in terms of driving uh, economic growth and 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 development. Um, what I always uh, try to draw people's attention is that um, uh, if you take uh, mobile money accounts now, I I can we are about eighty seven on the platform now. Almost every one of us has a mobile money account, or we use electronic uh, payment. Either for, either for uh, payment or uh, to be able to uh, get our businesses uh, uh, going. Uh, and, and here I want to mention that uh, for those of us who, or for those of you who invest uh, uh, or who buy stocks or shares, uh, beginning May 2024, the Securities and Exchange Commission, the regulatory body for uh, overseeing the stock market uh, or the uh, investment uh, arena in Ghana has decided that uh, uh, companies do not have to pay um, dividends uh, through means of check anymore and that they could use electronic uh, payment. So if you will invest in uh, uh, any of the shares, uh, any shares, uh, you should be expecting your dividends paid through the uh, your your mobile your mobile account or bank transfers or other forms of electronic uh, payment. The point I'm making here is the considerable uh, growth in this area uh, where it is driving uh, a lot of trade, a lot of uh, uh, businesses. Um, you just have to see the numbers when it comes to the uh, mobile money. Uh, uh, payments that that uh, that are made in 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 Ghana. We could uh, also uh, speak to the level of internet uh, usage or even mobile phones that people are using uh, now. Um, that was not the case about a decade, uh, ten years ago. Uh, but this uh, is a new dynamic that we need to take into account. Uh, when we uh, make this, we are making decisions in respect of uh, uh, investment or even in respect of uh, businesses that we are we are managing. Uh, so um, I have sought to give you uh, the context uh, uh, within uh, which uh, businesses have to operate, even governments have to operate households uh, have to operate or even individuals uh, have to uh, operate in. Uh, and um, it's important for us to understand all these elements. Uh, I've not touched on all, but I believe that the few that I have mentioned uh, should give us a sense that um, everything about investment and entrepreneurship do not take place in a vacuum. Uh, there are things at the global level that impact on them we cannot ignore or run away from. Uh, on our own, in our own backyard, uh, either at the continental level or at the national level, there are things that happen that could impact on the performance of the uh, of the Ghana Stock Exchange or the, the performance of um, of uh, collective investment schemes, or could even impact on uh, a normal business, or even uh, the ease of doing uh, uh, business, or the environment within which businesses have to uh, operate. Because essentially, if you're an entrepreneur, you have to operate within uh, a space that should enable your uh, business to to thrive uh, but and it's important that uh, we we get information uh, we do not allow ourselves to be overtaken by fear or by speculation 
uh, but um, we focus on how, uh, particularly how do we identify um, uh, smart investment opportunities uh, that we can look at uh, uh, and which would bring us uh, uh, returns uh, to be able to uh, uh, get past all these challenges that uh, could uh, affect our investment investment uh, goals. So in the few slides, I want to look at uh, uh, a few um, areas that uh, we could draw, or that we could draw from uh, as, as we move uh, in that, um, uh, or as we uh, and undertake the quest of uh, uh, leveraging the investment and uh, and entrepreneurship. Uh, first, on I want to to uh, stocks and shares. Uh, many of us are not new to it, to it. Uh, but in Ghana, we have the the Ghana Stock Exchange. Uh, it's been in existence for. Uh, more than three decades. I uh, think it's, it's in its thirty fourth year now. Uh, there are over uh, over thirty companies listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange um, across Africa. Uh, there are about 22, uh, 26 stock exchanges uh, that uh, provide uh, a pool of investment uh, that we can all uh, tap tap into. Uh, if you look at the performance of the Ghana Stock Exchange uh, between the beginning of the year and now, the uh, composite index has returned or uh, recorded uh, 27, uh, uh, let's say 28%, uh, uh, 27.89% uh, percent out of October 2023. Uh, that means that if you had invested uh, if an investor had invested in the all the stocks listed on the on the on the market, that is the rate uh, uh, in terms of the the gains you would have uh, realized if you were to get out of the uh, of, of 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 the market. Um, uh, the are also companies listed on the on the stock uh, uh, market that have not. Uh, uh, that do not have the same uh, 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 returns. Uh, here we're talking about the composite index, uh, as I did, as I did uh, uh, explain. Uh, so beyond that, there are other opportunities uh, that we can look we can look at. Um, when I started off speaking or um, really getting into the, the area of investment. What we started with was with investment clubs. Uh, and those were the days where um, investment was pretty new to many of us, uh, but to be, to be able to get into uh, the space where we could understand what it meant, uh, we came together in groups. Uh, these were individuals who were uh, interested in uh, in investment, we formed various uh, investment clubs uh, to educate ourselves about the opportunities that are available, uh, mainly in the Ghanaian and con uh, contest, uh, and the how we could take advantage of them, uh, and more important, how we could pull funds at uh, because that's what investment clubs do. Uh, now we have um, crowdfunding. Uh, which is uh, food online uh, as as a way of uh, people raising funds for for many um, many courses. Uh, but what we have on the on the slide here are a few uh, opportunities that we could look at in terms of uh, uh, avenues uh, to. Uh, get some 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 returns. Uh, I will not go into mention the specifics, um, 
yeah, because uh, th this is a uh, uh, a program that uh, uh, sometimes, uh, if I may, uh, I may put it this way: if you uh, mention one or two uh, uh, companies that people can look into. Uh, it's it's more about you are marketing or uh, 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 giving on on uh, 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 directing people to go into into that. But the the point here is this: there are many mutual uh, uh, funds on the Ghanaian and market. Uh, if you speak to any investment uh, advisor or financial planner or a, a, a mutual fund manager. Uh, they would be able to uh, provide you uh, with the the range of of opportunities uh, that, that are there. I I usually will encourage uh, people to look at uh, mutual funds or collective investment scheme because it pulls funds from many uh, people and invest in bulk. Uh, as a retail investor, uh, I, I think you are. Uh, most of the times uh, limited in capacity. Uh, but let me not even use retail, but if you're a small investor, um, you are limited in capacity uh, in terms of how much you could you could invest into or which instrument that you could invest in into. But if you are part of a, a collective investment scheme or a mutual fund, it pulls funds from different, um, a large group, and these funds could be invested in many um, areas or avenues. And what it does is that it also uh, reduces the risk that you would you would face uh, as a, a small or retail uh, uh, investor because collective investment schemes uh, have very diversified uh, uh, portfolios. Uh, investment portfolios or asset portfolios, so they are able to weather the storms uh, that comes with uh, investment. Um, so that's the point I would want to 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 make uh, here. Uh, the others I I I I I can mention here is the 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 new uh, kid on the block, which is uh, digital uh, assets or uh, currencies. Um, uh, assets uh, or currencies that are uh, also in in the free in now and uh, business uh, interest it could also be um, intellectual property that you 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 have which uh, you could leverage on uh, as an opportunity um, the in Ghana I think the major area now where people are moving into is real estate and um, uh, almost on an annual uh, uh, basis, uh, the estimate are that uh, over $1 billion flows into the real estate market uh, in Ghana. Um, uh, other African countries are also experiencing uh, uh, these uh, 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 growth in the in their sector uh, in terms of the uh, the very good returns that uh, are coming to investors uh, as a result of the interest they have taken in the real estate uh, real estate uh, market. So uh, these are just a few uh, areas that uh, are expected to experience uh, uh, competitiveness and. Uh, Resilience and growth uh, by 2030, as we are made to understand by global financial institutions. Um, many of you uh, would know that the creative, uh, creative so the art sector, other fashion, um, uh, music, uh, is an area that uh, people are able to. To utilize in terms of uh, if you have a, a business interest in this arena, um, uh, there is a lot of prospect in this in this area. I I I, I spoke to the issue of uh, 
uh, telecommunications uh, uh, and uh, in Ghana, the very exponential growth uh, in the uh, mobile phone usage uh, should should tell you uh, the kind of uh, prospect in that in that in that uh, industry. Now, I, I think it's important for us to uh, uh, look at ways that we could reduce the uh, the risks that are uh, that are associated with uh, investment, and I I would want to bring our minds uh, uh, to the fact that uh, you you really have to look at. Uh, how you could get your funds back uh, uh, when you 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 decide to invest in the in this in the in the stock market. So the issue of uh, ease of disposal uh, is very very important, particularly when you you are engaged in cross border um, uh, uh, trade on uh, other stock uh, uh, market, or you invest in other uh, cross border. Uh, investment opportunities. Uh, it's always uh, it's always um, important to also um, take a cautious approach uh, and have a long term horizon uh, when you are engaged uh, in in investment. Uh, also, the issue of um, uh, conversion. Uh, if if you invest in an area. Um, let's say if you invest in let's say the stock market in less uh, in uh, in South Africa, uh, for instance, um, they do not use the city there; they use uh, the run. Uh, so the you have to look at uh, exchange rate, converting it uh, back into a currency that you can take out of that uh, of, of of that country. Uh, so that you do not end up making uh, making losses as a result of looking at opportunities uh, uh, outside uh, your immediate uh, environment. Um, the ad, it's also important that um, in an undertaking uh, investment, uh, we we look at uh, spreading the 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 risks, and that is. Uh, and ensuring that um, as, as you create any portfolio or any asset classes, you 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 look to diversify your your interest. Uh, and and here you, there are many um, um, investment uh, uh, avenues. Uh, there are some that are, are short term. There are some that are. Uh, uh, medium uh, to long term in terms of the returns, uh, so you make sure that you 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 spread your investment or you uh, that you diversify your investment into asset classes uh, that can ad adjust. Uh, uh, you could adjust in 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 in, in the. Um, uh, managing the the expectations of of the returns that uh you expect from the from the investment uh if you do not diversify uh and you put all your eggs in one basket as we say uh, when the basket falls you should expect your eggs uh, crashing crashing down uh, and i i would recommend to us that we should not discount uh uh, professional management. Uh, it's always important to um, uh, speak to professionals in the industry uh, who are on this daily um, to be able to get the uh, uh, requisite uh, guidance in the decisions that you 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 make. The a uh, few admonishments that I want to provide here. Uh, uh, I think it's important that uh, we seek to create um, uh, revenue uh, uh, streams because uh, in, in, in an era of uh, really 
uh, economic downturn, uh, downturn is important that uh, we have additional sources of uh, income. You do not have to uh, rely on one uh, income source uh, because if that uh, uh, becomes a challenge, it, it, threw, it will throw your, your plans uh, off, off course. Uh, it's also important that we look for value um, in making uh, investment decisions rather than uh, uh, looking for uh, quick returns on uh, uh, on investment. Uh, the uh, and and here, what I would want to to draw attention to is that uh, when you invest, uh, some people invest because they expect. Uh, to receive uh, at the end of uh, the financial year um, uh, dividends, uh, which is paid to uh, the shareholders or those who hold stocks or shares in, in, in the company. Um, others would also want to look at the, the capital gains, which is the, uh, the increase in the price of the, the stock, that is if it's listed on the, on the stock market. But others want to, would want to look at the, the growth of the company, um, how the company is able to expand, uh, it's able to uh, uh, carry out a lot of uh, activities and able to uh, uh, perhaps double its, uh, its, its value. Uh, so that because uh, you get a bigger share uh, when the uh, um, uh, the cake is 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 bigger, uh, so I think in uh, we 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 are best placed uh, in terms of making the uh, the required uh, returns from uh, uh, investment if we do not look at uh, just getting uh, uh, dividends, but we look at the uh, the, the 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 growth of the company, so that uh, uh, if the company's uh, value increases, uh, we are able to 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 get uh, a bigger uh, a pie uh, out 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 of it. The in the next uh, uh, area that I think we should look at uh, is that I think we should learn how to use tax systems uh, uh, better. Um, many of us uh, uh, pay tax. Uh, if you are a business, a business, I think you should look at the uh, opportunities that are available, whether it's a tax holiday or tax uh, relief or tax exemption um, uh, in order to uh, uh, really uh, enhance your 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 business uh, in terms of the uh, uh, in terms of the uh, uh, the the uh, expenses you have to you have to you have to make uh, there are many opportunities uh, within the uh, uh, tax uh, uh, domain that are available to businesses. Uh, in Ghana, for instance, uh, many uh, companies could apply for uh, tax uh, reliefs or even individuals could apply for tax uh, uh, reliefs. And I think it's important that we take uh, advantage of these, of these uh, uh, reliefs or opportunities that uh, are available. Uh, the issue of uh, investing also comes uh, with risks. Uh, I think we should know that investment, when you make investment, they are not uh, deposits in banks that you can just go and ask for it to be given uh, to you back. Uh, there's a potential for it to lose uh, value uh, these are not uh, insured or guaranteed. Uh, so this, these are, are matters that should uh, be at the back of your mind uh, when you are deciding to make an investment uh, uh, decision. Uh, I, I, 
would always say that if you uh, would would have a, a serious uh, issue uh, in losing uh, 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 part of your money, uh, then investing should not be an area that uh, you would want to look at because they are risks. Uh, but there are strategies uh, to mitigate these risks, uh, as I've uh, explained, uh, uh, so that you could make uh, the best out, out of it. But I think you should have it at the back of your mind that uh, investment involves uh, uh, a lot of risks. Um, it's uh, also to um, uh, deal with the issue of uh, uh, your uh, your debt if you want to go into investment. If you have debt to pay uh, or you have loans to pay, I think uh, it's uh, it's it's very uh, uh, useful that uh, you 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 bring out a strategy that enables you to uh, deal with this uh, 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 challenge that could impact on your ability to uh, engage in successful uh, uh, investment. Uh, but the catch uh, word here is that. Uh, do not uh, defer investment because you you have you you have debt uh, to pay. Uh, what you could do is that uh, you could also learn uh, to use other people's money uh, to create to create wealth. Uh, uh, debt is in itself is 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 not. Uh, a bad thing. Uh, uh, you would hear it say that, oh, debt is not good, avoid accumulating it. Uh, I think what you should do uh, is to learn uh, uh, how to use other people's uh, uh, money. If you go to take a, a mortgage, and I think many people would, many, many of you would know what a mortgage is, that is uh, taking money from, uh, from the bank. Or if you go to uh, the bank to ask for a, a loan, that is uh, uh, using other uh, access to other people's uh, money. What you use it for is what is important. Uh, so do not shy away uh, from it. But uh, at the same time, um, if you are engaged in investment and you want a, a sustainable uh, way, it's always uh, important to address the issue of the particularly here, uh, those of us uh, uh, outside where who are accustomed to the use of credit cards, uh, it's important to deal with the your issues of uh, credit uh, uh, of credit so that it does not neg negatively impact your um, your standing. I, I would uh, uh, recommend that uh, you always hold an emergency fund um, uh, three to, to, to six months. Uh, uh, of your living expenses uh, um, so that you would be uh, able to weather any storms that comes out uh, as, as uh, uh, you engage uh, you engage in this uh, uh, in this uh, uh, process uh, I think uh, the other point I will want to make, and then uh, maybe we could uh, exchange uh, on 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 the, uh, on some questions, is that uh, the issue is not more about uh, saving uh, money, but I believe that uh, it's about aligning your spending uh, priorities, uh, aligning your spending with your with your priorities or your life goals. Uh, if, if you do that, you would be able to uh, make the necessary adjustment uh, and uh, provision to be able to uh, 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 dedicate some amount into uh, into uh, 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 making some uh, uh, some in, uh, in investment uh, uh, decisions. Uh, so. I would want to uh, perhaps stop here.
and then we could uh, engage in uh, some uh, uh, question and answer session uh, so that I could clarify any uh, questions that you, you, you would have or any clarifications that you would want to uh, uh, seek. Thank you very much, Mr. Boatin, for this session. I've personally learned a lot, and I'm sure we've all learned a lot too. So please, at this point, we're about to start the question and answers. Um, if any participant has a question, can you please lift your hand and I'll mention your name, then you unmute and ask your question. Otherwise, you can also type the question in the chat box. All right, so please, if anyone has a question, please lift your hand and or type it in the chat box. Please, Nia Kwe has lifted his hand. So, Nia Kwe, can you please ask your question? All right. So, please, um, um, good evening. Please, you mentioned something about um, going for fun and using it, like learning how to use the phone. Um, I wanted to ask, um, sometimes like, you have ideas that you feel like you can go for a year. And then use that money to create something which is going to like, bring you enough profit for you to put that value in the world to have money. And my question is which, which kind of project do you think is most impactful to put your money in to give it like, a better result so that you don't fall at all? Um, I think we all struggle to hear Nia Kwe a bit. So please, Nia Kwe, please, could you type your question in the chat box? Um, I'm reading the questions in the chat box now. So the first question is from Irabna. She says that, could you please show us the slide on what would be the most profitable ventures by 2030? The, I had the question someone wanted to see. Um, the the slide on uh, the areas that are estimated to experience some growth by twenty thirty is that was that the question? So this is the slide, uh, but I I would I I can also refer you to the um, Ghana Investment Promotion Center. Uh, it would also give you some areas uh, that you could look at within the Ghanaian context. Uh, this is the 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 um, uh, uh, sectors uh, that are been identified at the global level uh, as having the the capacity uh, or the potential to experience uh, growth uh, by twenty by 2030. Now, I I see a few questions in the chat. I, I'm not too sure whether um, it will be picked up or I have to pick them up and, and, and seek to address them. Uh, so maybe here I stand guided. Um, no, please, it will be picked up. It so will be picked up, okay. Yes, I'll okay. read them out. Okay. Okay. So the next, the next two questions. Thank you for your answers to the first question. The next two questions are: Emma, could you expand on use other people's money to create wealth? That's the first question. And the second question is: Is investment in forex a better option than T bills or mutual funds, given the depreciation rate of the CD? Okay. Uh. Okay, so can I can I take those those two? Yes, please. Okay, okay. So I think uh, the the point to be made here is is this, and uh, when I I I I make the point that uh, you should learn how to use other people's money to create wealth, uh, I think it it applies in uh, in 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 many ways. Uh, one, I I believe that uh, okay for 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 
for those of you who have tried to start a business uh, before at a small uh, 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 or micro level, uh, I think the, the, the first point of call uh, in terms of trying to raise uh, funds to start the business is uh, people that you know. Uh, acquaintances, it could be your your siblings, it could be your your parents, your spouse. Um, so these are the people you would go first to 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 perhaps ask for uh, uh, a loan or to ask for uh, an amount to 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 help you get on 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 your on your path uh, of uh, starting a, a business. If you go to the bank, uh, it's really the same thing because the, the bank is an intermediary uh, uh, between those who need money and those who have money. Uh, so if you go to the bank to go take money, uh, you are in effect taking other people's money. Uh, Many people have taken uh, money from the bank uh, in the form of a loan, uh, overdraft, um, or have had the, man, the, the, the bank invest in their, in their business and they have uh, uh, leveraged that or, or, or written on the back of these uh, loans uh, to uh, add value or to make value uh, of the uh, value of the uh, of the initial amount that they took from 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 the bank. So the idea is that don't don't be uh, 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 put away, uh, don't be uh, put off, or don't be, uh, uh, for want of a better word, uh, scared to uh, take other uh, uh, people's uh, uh, money, or don't be uh, don't shy away. Uh, if you need to use that uh, as a building block uh, in your quest to uh, to to invest or to um, uh, 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 to to build a business, uh, because what is important is 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 what uh, value you could make uh, if you. Uh, uh, entrusted with an amount of uh, uh, money, and then you are able to use the money in such a way that you could remake, you could make returns, you make returns, and then you send the 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 initial amount that you took from whoever uh, uh, back to the person. Uh, so that is the idea be behind uh, learn how to make um, learn how to use other people to 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 uh, other people's money to to create wealth. Uh, the the question in respect of forex, uh, I I think we should also understand that uh, every investment uh, opportunity or avenue has its own risks. Um, uh, people now uh, in Ghana, I I know, uh, are buying forex as a way of protecting the uh, um, their money uh, against. Uh, uh, the fluctuations uh, uh, between the uh, uh, currency and major trading uh, trading uh, uh, currencies uh, is also to uh, be able to beat inflation, uh, uh, obviously. Uh, because I, I, the um, if you are investing in any uh, investment product, you would want to ensure that the return that comes from the uh, investment uh, is more than um, uh, inflation uh, so that you you would have really made a uh, 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 value um, foreign exchange uh, 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 trade uh, uh, also has its own uh, uh, regulations uh, and 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 compliance uh, uh, recently i think uh, two banks in uh, I, I think it's one but two banks in ghana uh, had to um, uh, be reprimanded uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, compliance or regulation by the Bank of Ghana uh, for um, uh, some forex uh, 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 
uh, challenges, if I could put it, uh, I could put it uh, uh, that way. So yes, forex is uh, it's an area that you can look at uh, in terms of, uh, 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 but because as an investor, you look at the uh, instrument that can deliver returns for you uh, that are more than um, uh, uh, that beats inflation. That is one, and also uh, returns that beat other uh, investment uh, 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 opportunities. So uh, I'm aware that uh, people are engaging in forex um, as as uh, as a way of, uh, of as a way of investment. Uh, so that is what I could I could maybe perhaps share at this at this uh, stage. Uh, thank you. Thank you to please the last set of questions. The last set of questions are the first question is, um, what is your suggestion on how not to run at a loss when you are trying something for the first time? The second question is. Could you elaborate on the collective invested investment scheme and examples of such? The third question is, um, how would Ghanaians in the diaspora, how, how do Ghanaians in the diaspora invest in the diaspora? And then the final question is, how to manage the risk of outdated investment options in Ghana? So I don't know if you got all the questions. Uh, so perhaps the last one. All right. The last question is how to manage the risk of outdated investment options within Ghana. Outdated investment options. Yes, please. That's what's that's in the chat. Okay, that's an interesting. That's an interesting one. I I, I think uh, you know. In, in investments, uh, they, I, I I did say that there are many investment uh, uh, asset classes uh, in investment or um, investment, uh, if for want of a better word, we could just say instrument or avenues. Um, I'm not too sure about outdated, uh, but maybe the person may be looking at uh, maybe investment whose yields are not... Uh, um are not uh, are not providing better 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 yields uh, so maybe that's what um he or she is is looking at um uh, let me maybe go to the investment uh, collective investment schemes uh there are many collective investment schemes i was resisting the the edge of of naming of naming them uh but uh if you go to institutions like um the um uh, the one that come to mind uh, readily uh is 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 data bank so they have m fund they have uh, epac uh, they have uh, uh b fund edu fund they are several if you go to the strategic african securities they they do have um they are over there are more than uh, 40 uh, collective investment schemes in Ghana, many of them. Um, uh, some in the real estate uh, uh, market. Um, Ecobank has, has collective investment uh, schemes. Uh, most of the uh, fund managers uh, or investment uh, banks in Ghana uh, have uh, collective investment schemes. And I, as I did say, with collective investment schemes or mutual funds, you just need a little amount to get in, uh, particularly as, a, as somebody who wants to uh, maybe perhaps uh, uh, get it, do your first try in investment. The, your safest avenue is is to go into a collective investment scheme uh, where uh, the funds uh, are pulled from a cross-section of, 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 of people and then it's invested 
uh, in many asset uh, classes. So the, it's, in, it's a portfolio that is well diversified because the some of these uh, uh, collective investment schemes that I've mentioned invest in other African stock market, even at, at the international level. They have many investment uh, either on the stock market or in uh, multinational companies that provide returns that are distributed uh, to to uh, to 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 the, the the shareholders or to the members of the of the fund. Uh, so that is what I could I could say to that. Um, then, how do you ensure that you do not make uh, a loss at the start of a of a business? I think that um, uh, you 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 first have to ensure that uh, uh, you you have a a market uh, a, 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 a when I say a market a business you have a um, a client that could. Uh, be your 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 market for for the first for the first uh, uh, engagement that you would want to you would want to uh, uh, make. Uh, but I think you should look at how you can keep a tap on your operational cost uh, beyond uh, patronage of your of your services or your product. I think that you should have a tap on your operational on, on your operational cost. Um, I, I I think that is the um, uh, what I comes to mind uh, immediately, um, so that uh, you if you have a good idea of the cost element and how to, to keep it as low as you can, uh, I think that you would be able to ensure that uh, uh, you, you do not head into, 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 into a loss. Um, um, then on the issue of in diaspora uh, investment, uh, um, our compatriots uh, abroad are uh, uh, what we refer to as uh, uh, diaspora uh, or, or people who demonstrate uh, people in the uh, uh, outside Ghana who have goodwill uh, for us back at home or have goodwill towards Ghana. We, 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 we classify them as the diaspora. But in terms of um, um, the specific question of diaspora, investment I, I i the diaspora are part of the the people that we engage with um my work as uh, as a diplomat uh, um is framed around uh, engaging uh, uh compatriots or, or people of goodwill uh, um, outside ghana who are looking to uh bring in their their money uh, or their funds into 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 Ghana. Um, there are many uh, uh, areas uh, in Ghana that the diaspora can can invest. Um, uh, they can uh, either look at the financial sector, uh, or they could uh, look also look at um, investing in any uh, business uh, area uh, or interest that that they have. Um, we could speak to issues of uh, uh, connectivity or infrastructure. That is an area that the diaspora can uh, can look at. Uh, they can also look at the uh, hospitality um, uh, industry. But the range of of, of business opportunities uh, in 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 Ghana uh, are available to. Uh, to to the diaspora to to invest in, uh, so there are no um, uh, uh, limitations as to which area that they can they they can uh, invest. Uh, uh, previously, uh, what the government had had done uh, is that they had floated some uh, 
financial instrument that Ghanaians uh, outside could buy, just like we do uh, back back at home, uh, whether it's uh, uh, um, any uh, uh, financial instrument that uh, gov government comes up uh, with, the diaspora can uh, purchase uh, or can buy into into that. Uh, so um, uh, you could let me know if uh, this uh, uh, response to the specific question of the diaspora, uh, or you could uh, uh, perhaps maybe uh, uh, give me the elements again so that I could address address them. Uh, thank you. Thank you to back to you, moderator. Um, yes, please. So I think we're short on time, so we can end the questions here. There haven't been any more questions, so yes. Thank you very much for the presentation. Uh, thank you, thank you very much also uh for indulging me. All right. So at this point, we'd like to call up Mr. Frederick Bright to give us the Closing remarks in the announcements. Thank you so much, Mr. Felix Osebat. And we are really, really grateful. I think the insights you've shared are really helpful. It's giving us an idea about this subject. And I believe that many of us here are probably students or workers, uh, early career workers, or maybe mid to senior level management. Um uh workers and i believe that should we take this important point because i like the fact that he gave a global context and then uh corroborated it with the african context and then narrowed into ghana i believe there are other non-ghanians who are also part of this and i believe that to a large extent the principles um that mr say Watson has shared uh, applies and I'm sure if you do due diligence and and work on it uh, I'm sure you're gonna uh, reap the effects uh, that he has shared on this note I like to um so once again thank you very much Mr Osebuatin we are really really grateful for uh, your time um yeah okay so on this note I would like to share a few um quick announcements um so that we can end today's uh program uh, okay so um once again thank you all for joining us in today's event um for those of you who couldn't join us earlier uh this is achievers tribe and you are warmly welcome and who is achievers tribe so we're founded in the year 2020 by dr charles a from benjamin and most importantly, we are a non-for-profit organization um, that is committed to equipping people um, to maximize their potentials. And our ultimate goal is to raise people uh, who will be feel fully equipped to address the needs of their society, of their communities, and their nations, and beyond. And by way of this, we organize training events. So these training events uh, cover uh, topics such as career advancement, entrepreneurship, and business development. Uh, we also have topics on personal and corporate leaderships, competence-based workshops. Uh, we also offer internship um, and mentorship opportunities um, as well. So basically, this is who we are. Uh, I believe most of you are on the WhatsApp pages, and uh, you can click on either our LinkedIn or other social media uh, handles to read more about Achieve a Strike. Um, the next I'd like to tell us is the Achieve a Strike Day of Service. This is really, this is a, 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 a service, a community service, our annual community service, which we offer. And this year we will be offering free medical screening and health education to uh, and the target group is the public transport drivers and conductors um, around the Kaneshi um, station. We believe that during um, 
Christmas or towards the event of Christmas, we usually hear of a lot of road accidents that, that cause loss of lives, dear lives of friends and relatives. And we think that most of the time, some of these drivers do not really pay attention to their health. So we want to take this as a community service, go to the Kaneshi station and then give them free medical screening and advise them and talk to them about their health, how to be in a very good state uh, of health to be able to drive your vehicles so that the effect of road carnages uh, will be minimized. Um, and so it is happening on the 25th of November. Um, a, we are calling on volunteers. Uh, so this is basically a, a community, a free community service. So if you'd like to volunteer with your time, your energy, uh, expertise, for example, if you are cl uh, a clinician or if you are in the medical field and would like to help, and most importantly, if you'd like to donate to this free course, um, I believe if you're on the WhatsApp group, an information will be sent regarding this. And also you could reach us on this number, 0233 uh, and make a donation to this course. Our next major conference is the Global Idea Summit. So the Global Idea Summit is our flagship conference for the year, uh, which primarily focuses on leadership, entrepreneurship, and career excellence. And it is happening on the 6th of January, 2024. So please keep uh, this date blocked, and I think further details will follow. So this is our online quarterly um, our quarterly online seminar series, which we have termed the course. So we'd like to thank you again for participating. Our next course will be in February, 2024. This is our online event so that uh, we can reach thousands of people across the globe because um, a lot of people registered from the US or a lot of people also who are non ghanaians did register for this event. And we really, really appreciate this because our in-person conferences, most people outside the country might not be able to participate. For this reason, we have the quarterly online seminar series, which will happen four times in a year so we can reach out to many more people. And so with this, I'd like to thank you again. And uh, these are the links to our social media handles and our telephone number. You can reach us as well as our email. So thank you so much for your attention. Let me see. And thank you too for the announcement. At this point, we've brought the program to a close. Thank you all for joining and have a good night. Thank you. Running now.